Okay, it is seven o'clock, and I will call our meeting to order. Mr. Rose, thank you for filling in tonight, and I'm going to let you call the roll, if you would, please. Mrs. Sweet? Here. Mr. Bear? Here. Mr. Avery? Here. Mr. Hanna? Here. And council does have a quorum, and we have Mr. Babcock and uh, Mr. Whitaker absent this evening, but we still have a quorum. And we're going to begin our meeting this evening with a moment of silence for Clark County Deputy Matthew Yates. And as we all know, Deputy Yates lost his life in the line of duty this past Sunday. And it just emphasizes the the honor that we need to show for our law enforcement community and uh, the service that Deputy Yates gave to Clark County. So if you would, please join me in a moment of silence for Deputy Yates. And we're going to stand too, please. Okay, thank you. And please remain standing and we will pledge allegiance to our flag. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening. This is the regular session of the Enon Village Council. This is Tuesday, July 26, 2022. Additions to our agenda this evening. And we would need a motion and a second to uh, excuse Mr. Babcock and Mr. Whitaker. So moved. Second. Uh, moved by Mr. Hanna, seconded by Mr. Bear. And Mr. Rose, if you could call the roll. Ms. Sweet? Yes. Mr. Bear? Yes. Mr. Avery? Yes. Mr. Hanna? Yes. And we have the minutes of the Tuesday, July 12, 2022 meeting. And if there are no corrections or additions to those minutes, I would entertain a motion and a second to approve. So moved. Second. Moved by Mrs. Sweet, seconded by Mr. Avery. And call the roll, please. Mrs. Sweet? Yes. Mr. Bear? Yes. Mr. Avery? Yes. Mr. Hanna? Yes. Laura will have our financial reports uh, at our first meeting in August, which will be on the 9th. And do we have any items of communication? Uh, right. Just maybe a quick one. I, I uh, spoke with Trustee McClure uh, today and uh, this past weekend spoke with Trustee Pettit about the, uh, the park and uh, uh, with the mayor as well. And, and we're trying to make sure that we can try to get uh, some schematics or, or at least some uh, uh, proposal on how we want to uh, have the park laid out. So we, we've kind of stepped back from that a little bit here lately and, and hopefully uh, uh, we'll start moving on forward on that and if there is anybody that might be concerned uh, or want to put in for uh, interest in providing these schematics or diagrams or proposals we would uh, greatly entertain uh, anybody that might want to do that as well so. thank you and you know we're hoping that this might work out the finding a local person um, the 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 estimate will be substantially lower than the first one but we don't know so so thanks rick for staying on top of that any other items of communication all right we'll go into staff reports and jason i'll turn it over to you and uh you have kevin's report there and i'll help you out with it and i think we'll be in good shape so uh kevin is working at this time on submitting a uh, op i'm sorry 
Good evening, Council uh, Mayor. Okay. Uh, apologize, I'm kind of. It came back to you. Bit. Yeah, you remember. Um, <laughs> Kevin is working on uh, submitting OPWC application for the wastewater line replacement uh, from the water treatment plant to uh, the Mad River. So it's a uh, NPD NPDE wastewater discharge permit that we carry that allows us to do that. But uh, that line is aged and having issues and we've talked about it before and and we did a little discussion in-house and decided that instead of paying directly out of the water department if we could get opwc funding for it and then pick up the rest of the cost through the water department funds that would be great and and jason you think another year we're, we'll still be okay with that i think we'll be okay for one more year good deal so uh, again, that is due August 8th, so uh, kind of ongoing, but uh, Kevin should have that done by then. Uh, Kevin, Chief, and I met with uh, Tina from CND Security to discuss cameras, uh, upgrading the cameras at the water treatment plant, Wells and Enon Park. Uh, she should be submitting us a quote for review uh, and possibly have to do this in phases, but. Uh, Again, we, we, we've had some issues down there at the park, and we want to upgrade those to a, a newer, more modern. Uh, they're about 12 to 15 years old, those cameras. So 13. Is that we have 13? Oh, I haven't Sorry. seen them. Okay. Um, oh, they're about 13 years old? Yeah. 2013. Oh, last okay. Last great in 2014. The quotes, uh, we have them. I, I mean, Kevin's not in, so it probably doesn't happen to you guys. In any case... They're outdated, and we got with Mike because we know there are better cameras out there, and uh, we feel it's we need to replace them. So, good deal. Uh, been in discussion with Choice One Engineering uh, to submit a tip application on behalf of the village for Main Street Improvement Project. Uh, same project we tried for last year. Uh, project consists uh, for the Main Street intersection improvements as well as street lighting extend past the government center uh, to, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe around the library was where that one went. Is that one's going to stop? It'll come to about to the library? I believe that's where that okay. went to. Okay. Okay. Um, that project uh, estimated cost was uh, $1,839,215. Uh, but that again they're looking for tip funding for that project had a recent meeting uh, with the clark county engineer's office paul de beauty uh, donnie dalton with clark county utilities myself and marathon uh, there is a marathon pipeline basically at the school but to discuss removal of the casing on that marathon pipeline uh, this project will take place between the first entrance of the school and Green Vista. The road will be closed starting August 1st for 17 working days. Uh, contacted Paul DeBeauty to see if the road could be closed on August 3rd due to National Night Out. Uh, he's waiting to hear back. So we have heard back. Uh, mm -hmm. They will be able to close the road on the 1st, uh, do a road cut, put plates over it, and then open back up for national night out so we will have two-way yep. traffic for uh, our national night out week uh, event worked out great so um you know that'll be an inconvenience but that uh that is something that has to take place place for the future stormwater project that'll be going on uh later in the year and for those of you that are not familiar with that pipeline i'm not sure where it goes but i think it ends up at right pad i'm not sure where it originates but when we were putting the water line in on stein road i know it runs down stein road and marathon is very particular about any work around their lines and that's kind of what they're doing ahead of the big project that's going to take place yeah anything within uh, about 10 feet they will have a representative usually present yeah. if you're digging around that line uh, everything is set to pour the concrete pads at Settlers Park. That would be a, the Boy Scout project. Uh, looks like tomorrow, weather permitting. So he's got that framed and ready, and it uh, looks like he'll be doing that tomorrow. And this week, uh, new floors are being put in in the 
front offices. So uh, the administrator's office, uh, clerk of court's office, Christie's, and the front office here is getting new, uh, new flooring and uh, paint. So that will continue on and hopefully be done by Friday. You guys are busy. A lot going on. Uh, also, we have posted, uh, <coughs> you'll see around the hydrant flushing schedule uh, starting September 6th, uh, continuing through approximately October 7th. So those have been uh, posted around the village and same, uh, same schedule we've done for many years. And I ask this every year, is there still rover rust remover available free to residents? We, we, we do, yes. Okay. So it's still called rover rust called remover? <sighs> it's been around for like 50 years. That's the only yeah. reason I ask. It, and it works. It, it, it really does work. So We may have gone to another brand, but, but it's, it's still, so, still it's okay. the same product. All right. I was just curious. Yep. Well, uh, Jason, will this yes. also be posted on the back of the water bill so the residents it know? It will be. It should Thank be you. on this uh, this next month's water bill. Thank you. Any other questions? Yeah. Uh, Jason, for Kevin, and, and uh, actually for the record, from this point forward, when we're anticipating any type of road cuts or closing the road, uh, I think it, it's imperative that we involve the police department and the fire department to make sure there's any concerns about uh, egress or, or entry or travel through that there's there's no sense of having to, to go back and, and redo a lot of this stuff when uh, if we work from the front end that we could uh, uh, make sure that everybody's interests are covered because uh, uh, we're talking about quite a distance around if on an emergency response respectfully absolutely I agree 100 percent Any other questions or comments? Okay. Chief, I'll turn it over to you. Good evening. Good evening, Mayor, uh, Council, and residents. Um, thank you, uh, Councilman Hanna, for pointing that out. And thank you, Jason, for relaying that road closure to me as promptly as you did. That way we get that fixed there, addressed. Um, National Night Out is Tuesday, August 2nd from 6 to 9 p.m. I'm eating the microphone. Apologize for that. Uh, We've got a good uh, outpour from the businesses in the community uh, to donate the prizes for the raffle. Uh, raffle tickets will be sold at, uh, I believe we got a dollar a piece and uh, five for seven. Uh, and for that, that all supports the proceeds of that support shop with a cop. In addition to that, we will have games for the younger youth. And of course, the younger, older folks, if they want to participate and you'll be able to, they'll be able to win tickets um, to put tickets into the prizes. So. Uh, that way everybody has an opportunity to win a donated prize from the businesses whether you have money or not Speedway Corporation slash 7-eleven did get into contact with me yesterday uh, our mayor was able to move a mountain over the weekend and I say that because uh, just a little bit of miscommunication uh, meaning just you know trying to get a hold of people with the new uh, transfer stuff up there everybody was trying but they were struggling the mayor was able to reach out to somebody and they, they contacted me Monday. They are going to continue to support the National Night Out with the same donations as they did in the past. So thank you so much to them and you, Mayor, uh, everybody oh, else welcome. involved. It was, that is a big load off of uh, Officer Dunham and mine and everybody else's um, back because let truly face it, that's a big part of our, our event. Uh, much appreciated. And uh, Councilman Hanna uh, got us uh, – got to say a contingency plan last council meetings so we we were ready but i like that the village jumped on that and we were we were good to go uh, especially with the recent events um so the day before that we'll we'll be a little overwhelmed more but at any rate um so national night out's ready to go and uh, we're gonna have the road open so it'll be, you know be in front of the green in school uh 6 p.m to 9 p.m where we'll have just like the previous everybody in the community is invited and then those outside of the community are more welcome to come show their support uh, we'll have everybody there and uh, hopefully this year we'll win the tug of war <laughs> against the fire department though we I, we I, i'm aware we won one time i see here that's 14 years Best of luck. that's, that's yeah <laughs> Hayes, or Hayne, or Hayes and dunham or, uh, no. 
I think we had them triple, triple numbered. <laughs> but it was still not an easy victory, I don't think, even though Mr. Bear says it was. I don't recall it that way. But, uh, at any rate, um, that was my first one there. So obviously that's a huge event. And um, uh, so two, I have the network. And what I mean by that, and I actually have multiple meetings, but um, we are struggling for applicants. And I, I had spoke to uh, it the village administrator, Kevin, several months ago, and I, I know that there was a correction I thought made to the village webpage where getting an application for particular particular application for a police department was readily available. However, I got on there, I had a handful of people walk in last week, and there's a lot of struggling trying to find an application. And um, it's back to uh, the treasure hunt look on our webpage. And so you have to go under the government tab, go down to employment and you click on it. And even though that does say police application, there's real no information. It's kind of not updated so much. Like for example, we have pictures of, from the police department, I would probably replace with some more updated photos that represent our agency. And also the application, it is there, but there's no real follow through who to contact. Some of the emails, there's no email information. so. I, if I could get the contact information for the web place, that way I don't have to uh, have a third party uh, contact to get that. that. Maybe I could help move that along. Absolutely. And yeah. then also uh, our Facebook, um, I'd ask in the past, but I know that uh, Officer McHenry was looking around. It looks like the last it, the police department was hiring was posted on January 26th, if, he, if I remember what his words right. That's a pretty long way to dig through that. So I wasn't sure if, if we could get some, if maybe administration down here or me could get the username and password to that so I could go on there and just mess with the police department and like kind of renew that. That way I don't have to, re, um, you know, again, I know everybody's busy and they've got a lot of stuff to update, but that's really critical to us. So if we could just log on sure. and, and repost it, it would just be easier and then it would just, you know, work flow a lot better. Um, and that's what I meant by networking, just, you know, all the – the department heads and stuff it is everybody's busy and i know we don't have so many f folks but sometimes it's just easier if you can just do it yourself and i don't i think that's a good idea do that yep yeah and again we could keep that too just you know however we did it but you um, want to talk about the other stuff we're getting prices on the, the like the network um <clears throat> all that stuff mike yeah i can talk about that um so I, we are IT people uh, for the last nine years. They've, uh, Interlink is who we contract with, and they have kept us. Uh, we haven't been compromised, which is, is a good thing. However, 37% uh, last study was that most uh, anybody in the business has been compromised. So that's a, that's a very large percent. So it's just a matter of time that somebody tries. Um, there's a little bit of uh, this been a little bit of miscommunication amongst all of us on what we have and and who knows what so i reached out to interlink myself and spoke with the owner and i answered a lot of questions and found out a lot of things i wasn't sure on so he had quoted us a price back in november to basically tie bring us up to date uh, the federal mandates state mandates on internet security uh put back out back put out in february of 2022 we were not at that and and Ben, the owner, he had met with us late last year, us meeting Kevin Seifert and uh, Chrissy Tomey and myself via the Zoom to let us know that it was coming and what he needed to prep for us and give us a quote. And though it is, will be more than what we're spending, it's not going to be as pricey as I thought, though. But, you know, safety and security isn't cheap. However, Eat it. I know that he can steer us right. They're a good company. They have kept us safe. Um, I think... We're all starting to get on the same page. I know we're going to meet with them soon, but we really need to nail that down quick because there's a lot of things that we're missing. And I hope that we can continue to, to push that along and get that going with the same company, even though because we're not contracted with them per se to do monitoring and we need to be. Well, you're in good hands because now I'm kind of spearheading that yes, one, sir. so that ought to make you feel good. <laughs> yeah, and it does. I appreciate it because I've been chomping at the bit down anything there. Anything about – and so this is going to be a good learning experience for me. So yeah. I'm hoping that I can get back in touch with him tomorrow. I know he had been under the weather as well. So, um, But, look, this is kind of a little prepper for the council. This is something that, you know, you hate to say – you need to do it, but we have gone, we've been very lucky, and it's time that we have better protection on our emails. 
you know, our, our, our software, our servers, and that type of stuff. And, you know, now's the time to do it. And yeah, and I, I want counsel to reassure. Yeah. I'm, I'm obviously educated in that area, though I'm not necessarily on prices and bidding because I don't sell it. But I do know right. that I wouldn't ask uh, counsel or the village to do anything that I felt was over and above necessarily or exorbitant. But I will tell you that the minimum stuff and honestly the higher grades package uh, does cover. We, we do need to have a handful of us need to have the option to be to do some better encryption on emailing. And I won't get into too many gist because I don't want to put all our stuff out there. I know that we are in good hands, and I know that our our firewall is very, very highly award winning. So, but um, we need to we need to wrap it up. So we we need to tie it up. So we'll do that. I do have the numbers. They gave us some quotes, and um, it's fair pricing. But there are some things that we'll have to change. And but. Uh, more to come hopefully next council meeting um, we can I'm hoping honestly so. knock that one nail it down quick because yep, uh, it's I agree. definitely yeah but i, I, I appreciate the mayor com- uh getting with me because i had voiced my uh concerns to a handful of other folks and him and everybody got together and much appreciated because it is very urgent and important so i'm glad we got that ball moving thank you so much you're welcome because now i'll not be so grouchy when i talk about it <laughs> <laughs> um yeah <laughs> So, uh, as the mayor mentioned earlier, uh, Deputy Yates uh, lost his life Sunday, and I'm not going to talk too much about it because it tears me up, but I do want to say that the uh, funeral arrangements and services are coming up soon, and all of our officers uh, are going to attend. If there is an emergency call during that time, you will get a law enforcement response. However, if you have a non-emergency call, you may get a delayed response, but that's just the the right thing to do, and it would it would not be uh, it would not be good for me to not allow an officer to go pay the respects to a, a man that served so long and gave the ultimate price for uh, safety and security and everything. So I just ask that the the, the community in this area, everywhere, the county, just uh, give that law enforcement a little bit of a break as this next coming week and. We'll, we'll, we'll keep you safe, but if it's not a priority, just hang loose with us, and I appreciate it. Uh, that's, that's all I have, sir. Okay. Good report. Any questions for our chief? Uh, just two remarks about basically where, what we we're, were talking about. Uh, it seems like my email is I'm getting a lot of messages undeliverable or uh, messages not coming in off of the uh, in and Ohio Kevin, uh, for Kevin's attention. Uh, secondarily, we put a lot of money into this this uh, village web page, and one thing that w- we understood when we went into that was that it would be uh, monitored closely to to make sure that it stayed up to date and intact. And I've got some major concerns about uh, what our goals are and how this represents the village, and that we are not staying up with, with some of this. That's that's our major pipeline as far as information. Uh, to the outside world in a lot of aspects and to uh, let this thing go by the side uh, if it if it, uh, uh, it it just needs to be rectified and if, if we could make sure our administration uh, uh, looks into that see what works off of that what does not uh, for that and the, the Facebook page making sure that uh, other uh, village administrators or officials uh, do have access to to change that? I think that that would help all of us. That that website, ought to, I'm not saying it should be up to date, like right this second or whatever. But in a reasonable amount of t- time, it ought to it ought to contain up to date information. But one of the things that for me, because I'm not good at any of that stuff, you ought to be able to get on there and find stuff easily. And if you can't then let's fix it you know so let me talk to kevin about it rick uh, and again it's, it's people like me that don't know how to hunt through stuff when you're looking for it it ought, ought to be very user friendly i think that was what we had talked about almost that was like like the number one priority make it easy to use make it attractive but make it very easy to use so let me talk to kevin about that uh, when he can, gets in uh, tomorrow and a quick comment on that. It, it actually is a really nice web page. It is easy to use. However, okay. 
the certain things aren't as easy to be found. For example, in employment, this should just be an employment tab and it should, you know, like right now, I mean, it's pretty, if you go to it, you can see that it's very obvious that we're hiring for general laborers and who to contact and a contact name and all this and that numbers. But when it comes to police, it is buried deep. I don't necessarily think but that's intentional or anything. I'm not saying that. It, I'm just saying it's just, it's not, there's no flashing lights. But, and when I mean, you got, 12 students and all of them want to be cops and only two of them out of the 12 can find an application that's not a good thing but if we're looking for part-time officers it should then be we, let's put, <laughs> yeah let's put it out there and as well so, yes yeah. and some information about yeah. how much we pay and who you contact so, and email yeah. addresses can't they counseling. put that right on the front of the web page until you kind of get caught up with your numbers well, that's what I thought Kevin had done a few months ago, and I want to say that there was a link there, or at least there was like a photo. Or, but yeah, it's it's gone, and uh, I'll let you know when we're not hiring. I guess would be the easiest thing to say. I'll get with him tomorrow. <laughs> we'll get it. We'll get it figured out. But yeah, I think it yeah. should be. You know, you go to the front, the main page there that shows it should up be there. there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be like, oh, Village of Enon, they're hiring for police. Look at that. Push the button and boom. Right. Anything you want to know. I agree. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Uh, real, real quick, uh, we, we have kind of neglected a little bit where uh, uh, our participation in that this past weekend. Mike, uh, I know what you went through was, was, is not something easy, but we do appreciate uh, the village responding out there and, and doing what we can in, in a uh, terrible situation. There, there's no way to make it any, any candy coat it, but uh, you know, we, we did what we would have expected <coughs> our, our officers to do. Um, we've got new officers and, and trying to, to coach them through that or, or try to help them through that. That's uh, uh, not something easy but once again we appreciate what y'all do and and uh, the unforeseen or the the uh, terrible things that we we've had to experience here recently and, and unfortunately two uh, several years ago again it just brings back uh, you know, a, a lot of bad situ memories and situations so that's the thanks and, and thank you so much. And if I could respond to that because I, I feel kind of bad I meant to say this but again I, you're right it chokes me up. Um, I was obviously been involved in both. I can tell you that the communication on this, I, I, I had my radio on, so I was aware of it, but I will say Officer Tyree was working. He immediately called me to bring me aware of the situation, which was a lot different than my first experience years ago. Uh, I, had a little, I had to call and ask for information, and when I returned to this PD from being out there, uh, all of our officers were standing here in uniform ready to help this community and I didn't ask anybody to come in I didn't you know in something like that and I know now you know why maybe you know the chief at the time didn't call me right away because clearly I understand why now that is but the fact that everybody just did what they did and worked it was really nice and uh, it made me feel good that we have an agency like that because uh, and thank you for for just bringing it up and I, I didn't want to steal you thunder from you on that but I will say each one of those officers, every one of the officers, which I know we don't have many, but they all responded appropriately and they were here and ready. And that's, that, that was a big stepped up. Yeah. And, and Councilman Hanna, he come down and uh, we, we really appreciated that. Uh, it was just really nice. And uh, it's what we needed. And uh, I'm glad that uh, I'm glad our officers did that. So, yeah. Any committee reports this evening? Um, I do not have a report, but I have a request for a meeting for the Public Service Committee. Um, hopefully, maybe at, before the next council meeting, August 9th at 6 o'clock. If we can put that on our calendar and let the public know. Um, Mr. Bear is on my committee. Mr. Whitaker is on my committee. I will check with him to make sure he knows about it. But. Can you do me a favor? Can you confirm with Mr. Whitaker and then notify staff for the public notice? Sure. Thank Absolutely. you very much. Mm -hmm. Any other committee reports? We have no old business, new business. We have no executive session. Comments from the public? Motion to adjourn. <laughs> Motion by Mr. Hanna. I'll second. Second by Mr. Bear. All in favor say aye. Aye. Post same sign. Meeting adjourned.